Hey, today I'm talking about these Red Wing Heritage Weekender Chukkas. These are the 3322 in copper rough and tough leather uh, from Red Wing's own SB Foot Tannery. I love SB Foot leathers. They're super hardy, durable, hard wearing. They just get better and better with age and with wear. Uh, if you wanna see, I have a video of some old Iron Rangers in copper rough and tough leather. Just an example of how they can age and wear over time. Still going strong, still just as durable as they were when I got them, uh, but they've really evolved quite a bit. And uh, in my opinion, uh, the leather is just looking great with uh, all that time and wear. The Weekender boots are made on the number 60 last, which is designed for stitch down construction. It's a nice natural feeling last. I can see this working for a wide variety of foot shapes. Uh, stitch down construction is recraftable but you may have to make a few calls around to some cobblers before you're able to find one that's equipped to do that job. The outsole is what Red Wing calls the hill outsole. It's a thin wedge sole that provides a nice even cushioning along the footbed. There is no shank since the wedge sole gives support across the arches. I love the look of the outsole. It's been really comfortable underfoot. It performs well. It's got good grip and good traction. Uh, so overall, I'm really happy with this outsole. The hill outsole is cemented to the midsole, which looks and feels like a firm particle board. And the leather from the uppers is folded down and stitched to this midsole. So I guess, I mean, in, in reality, it's the opposite <laughs> to that order. The leather from the uppers is folded out, stitched down to the midsole, and then the outsole is cemented to that midsole. The insole is a removable foam insole, which is not my favorite, but I guess, you know, a couple of the benefits are it's comfortable right out of the box, so that's nice. And since it's stitched down construction, the insole isn't sewn into the construction of the boot like it would be in uh, Goodyear Welt construction. So if this insole loses its cushion over time or starts to break apart, it's easy just to pull it out, swap it out for a new one. So I guess there, you know, in that, uh, in this application, it's not such a bad thing. I still prefer, uh, you know, full leather insole like in the other Red Wing Heritage boots, but uh, you know, this one's been comfortable and it's it's just fine. The uppers feature, you know, the the uh, Red Wing Puritan triple stitch, really nice. It's got the nice contrast to the stitching as well. It's got three blind eyelets, so you know a chuck of boot cannot be either two or three eyelets. This one's got three. It's got a non-gusseted tongue. It's nice and strong. Everything looks really good. The stitching is nice and tidy. The uppers are unlined, but there is a canvas liner in the vamp and a leather heel pocket just to contain that internal heel counter. The Taslin laces are super durable. I've had really positive experiences with their Taslin laces over the years. In terms of sizing, Red Wing sizing can be tricky. Uh, sizing in the boot world in general can be tricky. Um, first thing for sure, you got to know your Brannock size. So if you don't know that, check that first. Red Wing will often say to size half down from your Brannock. Sometimes people will say a full size down from your Brannock. I would not recommend that. I think you're going to end up with a weird breaking point in the boot. Uh, for me, my Brannock is a 9E verging on double E. And in Red Wings, my best fit is an 8.5 double E. But not all of their boots come in wide widths. And in those instances, I find a 9D or 9 standard width works out just fine. I went with a 9D in these because the wide width wasn't available and they feel really great. They fit great. The ball of my foot is locked right in with the ball of the boot. So everything worked out well there. Um, but again, if you don't know your sizing, check your Brannock. Uh, and then I would recommend a half size down from your Brannock. The pricing on these is actually pretty good at 250 US, especially when you compare them to others in the heritage line that can be upwards of 350 US. Being made in the USA from high quality leathers is going to bring that price up higher from other popular chuckas on the market like a Clark's Desert Boot, but uh, in reality, you're just getting so much more for your money in a Red Wing chucka as compared to some of those other options. So that is the Red Wing Heritage Weekender chucka. Just a really nice casual option, super durable, built to last, and best of all, they look good with a pair of jeans. Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah.